Hello, this is the Physics MC, and today's lesson, uh, the goal is to use optics concepts. We're going to determine how glasses help our eyes see um, using different ray diagrams. And uh, we're going to draw ray diagrams for multiple lenses and see uh, how that works. So to do that, let's start with just uh, a diagram of, of what actually is going on in your eye. So let's say this is a line here, the principal axis, um, and in your eye you have a lens. It doesn't look exactly like that, but it behaves like a convex lens, just like that. With any convex lens, it has a focal point. So, um, but we'll touch in on that. So, let's say that light comes in from a, a source, from a faraway source. See, red light's entering your eye. It's going to hit this lens. As soon as it hits this lens, it's going to bend because of Snell's law. And once it leaves this medium, it's going to bend again. So the light's going to shovel that direction. We can draw another light ray coming in. And uh, as it hits this medium, it bends. And it bends again as it leaves this medium. And it's going to kind of uh, end up this way. So right here where those two lines converge, that is your focal point of, of, of the lens of your eye. Now it becomes an issue if uh, your eyeball, for example, let's say this is your eyeball and your uh, retina, meaning the back of your eye, is not, uh, so the back of your eye here is not, or here, is not at the focal point, meaning that whatever you're looking at is not converging on, on your retina. So it, whatever you're seeing is going to be blurry. That point is actually spread out over all this distance. Um, that's not good. So we can correct that um, with glasses. That's a common thing people do is they wear glasses and it helps them see. Well, how does that work, you may ask. Well, let's draw a ray diagram and think about how that works. So let's continue these lines here. I'm going to erase some of them by accident. Okay. So what we could do is is we could potentially put a lens here, um, maybe like a con uh, cave lens. And I'm drawing it green here. We could put a concave lens here and see what happens to uh, the light when it hits this new medium. So maybe we'll go blue lines here. So as light um, comes in, this light comes in on the same path, but now it's entering a new lens before it gets to your eye. It's going to bend out, bend out again. It's going to hit the top here, and now it's going to bend in or down and down a little bit more. It's going to meet at a different spot. Here we can think what this light ray doing the same thing. It's going to bend out a little bit, bend out a little bit more. It's going to hit the, a different spot on this lens. It's going to bend in and then in again, and it meets back here rather than here. So your eye um, will see that. Uh, so let's think about a more detailed ray diagram here. Uh, maybe you can calculate focal points of, of lenses. Like when you look through uh, your eyeglasses, uh, I guess before we come back to that, what, what, what would the uh, what would a convex lens do? Um, rather than a concave, what would a convex lens do? Um, well, we can say that a convex lens is going to Converge those lines before they get to your eye, so it's actually going to move that um, those rays closer. It's going to move them actually closer, or even uh, farther this way. So when we give this the terminology, if if the conversion rays is um, on this side of your retina, meaning it's like in the middle of your eye, it's not on the back side of the retina, we call that a nearsightedness. Meaning that you have to use a convex, uh, sorry, concave mirror, uh, mirror, not mirror, concave lens to diverge those rays so that you can move that image back. So people that are nearsighted, they have lenses um, uh, for their eyes that are shaped um, with with a concave, um, meaning the center of of those lenses are typically uh, shaped like this, where they're thinner in the middle and thicker on the edges. 
where so it behaves like a concave lens. This is a simple drawing for a concave lens, meaning that it's going to diverge those rays as they come in, so that um, the focal point can because you actually get as it hits your eyeball, it'll move that focal point back where those lines converge finally. Um, so your eye hits here instead of um, up here. Um, where unlike uh, if you're farsighted, then that would be like if if the rays came in and uh, if the rays came in and your retina, let's say your retina's here and they're actually converging back here. Well we'd want to move that closer here. So we'd have to um, put a converging lens, I uh, mean a concave lens, so it actually converges quicker um, so it hits that spot sooner. That's probably too much. But you get the idea. So this would be used for far-sighted people where a concave would be used for near-sighted people. Um, so let's uh, do a more specific ray diagram here. Um, so here is your lens in your eye, and you can adjust that. Um, let's give it a focal point here, focal point, and uh, let's do a arrow as an object. I want to see what happens to that arrow. Um, so I can draw one light ray entering this, and I can simplify this um, parallel to focal point, and then focal point to parallel. So right now, that image is formed right here. It's upside down, and it's um, this point on the arrow is actually being spread out over this whole range. By the time it gets to the retina of your eye, it should be here, but it's actually being spread out. So that point looks like a big um, area, so it appears blurry. Well, how do we fix that? Well, this would be a nearsighted person, so we would need a uh, die verging lens, because we'll move it back further. A converging lens would move it this way, diverging lens would be this way. So this would be concave, this would be uh, convex. Um, let me that real quick. And let's put uh, a concave lens in here. Uh, let's draw that and see what happens to this image. So if you have a concave lens, like glasses, and I'll draw a new ray diagram for this. Uh, we'll maybe go blue. Um, so what's going to happen to this is it's going to diverge. Yep. And we can trace this back. This is going to go through a different focal point. It's going to diverge. Let me trace this back. And now we get a new image. This new image is formed right here. We're like, wait a second. My eye can't see that. Well, remember, we have... Uh, we have a light source. Um, we have another lens here in your eye, meaning that the object of the the image of the first, this, the image of the first becomes the object of the second lens. So when you have multiple lenses, this image that's formed becomes the object of the second. So meaning that we can assume that once this image is formed right here, once the image is formed, we can now uh, treat that as the object for this lens right here. So now let's go through and trace the ray diagram for this. Let's do the red so it's a different color here. So now we can treat that image that's formed as a new object. We can go through the focal point. Boom. And then we can go through the focal point here of this lens. Parallel. And where does it end up? Look at that. It converges right on the retina. The person sees it right on the retina. Um, so this image that's formed from this lens uh, actually was transferred over to a new image. So what does this mean? What sort of some application to this? I mean, uh, well, we can use uh, the concept of optics. We can use images that are formed to form new images.
kind of neat how uh, optics works that way. Like the the, the first one, um, we formed this image right here. We we formed that image with this lens, and we used that image to form a new image from this lens, right here. Uh, we can treat we can do a third lens if we wanted to, but. Uh, Basically, that pattern continues. If we wanted to put a third lens in here, well, we can use this image to form some new image with a third lens, or a mirror, maybe. Um, so that's kind of neat. You can imagine how complicated this could get if we had multiple lenses and multiple mirrors. Um, I'll give you a chance to reflect on that one for a bit. Pun intended. Reflect. Um, sorry, that wasn't enlightening there. Um, but anyway, so let's uh, kind of just review here. Um, so, can we determine how glasses help our eyes see? Well, yeah, you can have nearsightedness or farsightedness, and a concave lens or a convex lens can move that image forward or back to, so it gets to your retina. Can we draw array diagrams for multiple lenses? Well, yes, we can do that by assuming that the image of the first, of the image of the first object. Um, uh, it says image one um, becomes object two. Um, object one forms image one, and then image one becomes object two, which forms image, image two. Um, so yeah, it continues that, that pattern. Anyway, hopefully you had fun. I know what I did. There's lots of applications to this. I mean, microscopes are based off this concept. I mean, you can adjust the focal... The, you can use lenses to adjust how clear something is by moving it forward or back or the strength of the lens. Um, so there's lots of applications to optics and hopefully this is a, this ex helps explain one of them in terms of how glasses help your eyes see. Your eyes are optics. So have a great day and